Welcome back to my podcast, everybody. So today's video is a late night chat with Jazzy, and I'm going to be giving y'all some friendship advice. So the first advice is to, hold on, I got to look at my notes, is to be friends with people who want to be friends with you. And what I mean by this is that sometimes you want to be friends with a person, but that person may not want to be friends with you. And I feel like you will notice this. It's very noticeable when somebody don't want to be friends with you because they don't um, make any type of contact with you. Um, you always the one who initiates, you know, doing events and going out and planning stuff with them, but they're never the one and doing stuff for them and being there for them, but they're never there for you or you know initiating doing anything with you or hanging out with you and stuff like that but when you see them in person um they act like uh they want to be your friend or they are friendly and stuff to you and stuff like that and honestly i wouldn't take it like to the heart it just could be that they don't want to be as close with you they just want to you know they just want to they just know you they don't want to really be cool with you like that because maybe they don't relate to you maybe i don't know jealousy i don't know <laughs> haters people are just sometimes people are just haters honestly sometimes people just they could have their own personal stuff going on but a lot of times people are just fake and that's just how the world is. It's just a lot of fake people, a lot of haters, and there's really nothing we could really do about it, honestly. So don't take it to like, a, on a, like don't take it like um, really personal when somebody you want to be friends with don't want to be friends with you or showing that they don't want to be friends with you because that's just life life is gonna keep going on like it's make another friend it's not the end of the world honestly don't take it to that also don't worry about having like a small group of friends so a lot of times people um always want to have so much friends and and honestly i rather have a small group of friends that are loyal than have a large group of friends that is not loyal so that's better than having like a group of friends who are all fake, who all talk about each other and just toxic and who are not doing anything productive with their self. They're just doing nothing with their life. They don't have no dreams, no goals, no passions. They're just doing nothing. I want to be friends with people who are going to be loyal, people who are going to be there for me when I'm down. People who are going to cheer me up. People who have goals, aspirations. I want friends like that. If people are not, don't have those type of qualities, I don't want to be friends with them. And you shouldn't want to be friends with them either. So um, don't worry about having like a large group of friends. Sometimes. When you have a large group of friends, a lot of bad things go wrong, which are the stuff that I need. It's fake people. People are more closer. Like when it's like a large group of friends, especially when it's an odd number, sometimes there's always like, there's always um, friends that's always going to connect more than the other person. It's going to be people that's left out when sometimes when it's a large group of friends. Like it's never like, it's <sighs> It, especially when it's an odd number like it's always somebody's gonna be left out somebody's always gonna be closer to one person than the other nobody I don't know why the world is like this but nobody can never just all equally be friends or all equally like each other and befriend each other but it's not like that and prove me wrong in the comments if there is friendships large friendship groups that are like that even small friendship so prove me wrong in the comments if you've been friends with if you've been friends with a group 
you had a group of friends for a very long time and it's an odd number and y'all all men should still be friends and it's and the friendships are equal y'all don't y'all don't treat one friend better than the other prove me wrong in the comments so far i have not seen it had everything seemed to fall down when it's the odd number oh when it's a group of friends so prove me wrong um I also say, like, my another advice, the third advice is to have multiple friend groups. So, there's, it's great to have, like, a group of friends who are just, like, your friends. And then you have friends that's outside of school. So, you have your outside friends, people that you hang out with, like, in your neighborhood, like, your everyday friends. And then you have your party and friends, friends that you know that you could depend on when you want to have like fun and you want to go out and party and stuff like that so it's good to have friend groups also you need a friend group that's going to get you um connects later on in life because you're going to need connections to get you to like accomplish like your goals to find jobs and interviews and stuff like that you're going to need those type of friends that's going to get you into those doors so having multiple friend groups is really good for that. You you know that you always could depend on those friend groups when you want to like go out and party or if you or you want to go um, do schoolwork. You always gonna have those friend groups that you know that's always gonna do that. And to maintain those friend groups, you have to keep in contact with them. You have to keep checking on, you have to check up on them. I'm not saying do that every day, but here and there, check up on them, see how they doing, be there. Don't just hit them up once and think that the friendship is going to last. No, you have to keep in contact with them. Fourth advice is, as you get older, like you will learn that um them little kitty friendships sometimes like when you're younger it don't always last sometimes people grow up and they grow apart it don't have to be any type of particular reason why y'all stop being friends y'all just doing two different things y'all in two different stages right now and y'all grew up so y'all just doing your own thing there's really no like hard feelings or it shouldn't be any hard feelings of why y'all stop hanging out or any bad tension between y'all because y'all just grew apart honestly um and when you grow up like i said it's mostly about making connections people who are going to get you connections in the world because you need you need connects especially when you trying to get in into a certain career field and you're gonna need somebody that's gonna get you into those doors you need to make connections so that's my little quick short um, friendship advice and so to summarize basically don't care about making a lot of friends. Have multiple friend groups. Um, keep in contact with those friends. And make connections. And be friends with people who want to be friends with you. That's basically what I, I said all in one. And like, comment, and share. And see you in the